finally. Now that I've got my plan in mind, that queen will seriously realize what she's doing. But Lizzie, I thought you said you weren't going back to the castle, you said you were trying to stay away from it. When did I say that? Huh, I don't think I ever did. And even if I did, that doesn't matter anymore. All I want is my boyfriend back. But don't you have a boyfriend already? Like, don't even think about it. Boris is the love of my life. The love of my future. You don't freaking understand. This was what I wanted, and that stupid poon shrine took all that from me. It looks like you're being way too harsh here. Whatever, let's just go. No, I'm not going until you tell me why you're acting this way over something little. Little? You call getting everything you wanted stolen from you, something little? Nonsense. I thought you trusted me. Yeah, but I'm not sure if I could anymore. You're being too harsh on your plan. Oh my god, I freaking quit. If you're not coming with me, I'm going in myself. Kira, what the hell do you think you're doing out here? Are you going into the castle to defend the state? Ella? I didn't know you were here. Yeah, to tell the king and queen about my childhood story since they despised me before. And to tell them about how you don't freaking care about the queen situation, all because you're on that pump side. And agreeing with her on every detail. I can't believe this. What am I doing? If you want the freaking truth, go inside the castle and see for yourself. If you still don't believe my words and you still decide to fight with the delinquent, that's fine. It's not my problem anymore anyways. Oh yeah also, they've moved castles now since the current one has been demolished. So you're gonna have to enter the new one. Now if you excuse me, I'm going home. You've got to be kidding me. This castle's gone. Where in the freaking world? Now how am I going to find those two? Bingo. That's probably where they moved to. Man, I'm glad we moved out of that castle back there that's now destroyed. I've got to agree. I know everyone's confused as heck at this point, but let me say this. The interior was horrible. It gave poor quality and a bad point of view to all of us. Exactly. Like it's not even the interior of a freaking Supreme Court. It seriously is more of a Supreme Court than a castle. So up, uh, Queen Shireen. It took me a while to get used to using the new stove inside this castle and finish this thingamajig you wanted me to prepare. Since we moved castles that quickly. Is it still good at least? Yeah, I guess you've done well, Chris. But I'll eat later, I'm not hungry right now. Want cake then? I clearly said I'm not hungry. That means no cake. Just because I don't want to eat right now, that doesn't mean you can go ahead and consume all the cake on your own. Oh man. I wanted more. One slice isn't enough for me. No. Now obey your queen, or else. Okay fine. I'll try to keep my hands off the cake. Wait, why am I holding it then? Oh frick oh frick I'm screwed for life. You've got to be serious. Lizzie? Is that you? Heck yes it's me. You're both going to freaking pay for what you've done. Oh my god, I can't believe this. Get out of here, Lizzie. I never wanted to speak to you nor see you again. You can't tell me what to do. I have rights, you know. Rights to say whatever I want, since I freaking improved. Yet you both aren't seeing that. Actually, never mind. I was expecting you to come here anyway. Because you are the one who will pay the crap. You still bore us from me, and now you're being freaking defended by him and other people, while I'm getting all the hate? What is your honest problem? Why would you do this? Oh, so now you're blaming me for stuff I never did? Look at me, look at what kind of person I am right now. Thanks to you, I've been completely damaged, and I can't be happy, no matter how much I try. You've ruined me, Lizzie. There's no way to take it all back and fix anything. The harm had been done. And now you're here blaming me for nothing. Does this seriously show you improved your behavior? It freaking doesn't. I'm gonna deal with you later. 
I have a few things to say to your so-called king. What a freaking hell. My eyes. I don't have my normal eyes anymore. I have a different pair of eyes. Who's responsible for this? Oh crap. Oh well um. I guess you could say I did it. Chris. I will freaking kill you. You were supposed to give me real eye cream, not one where your eye shape changes. I thought I gave you the real one. Oh really? Then explain why it says, special edition eye cream, warning, may change your eye shape, on the stupid tube. Oh I um. Um 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 um. I'm sorry for that. One day I will make you pay for this. One day you will pay. And now I'm gonna have to deal with this stupidity for who knows how long. I just can't believe you anymore, Boris. I thought you loved me. I was the love of your lifetime, yet you left me for a girl like her. Do you really think anyone can help falling in love? No, it happens on its own. Remember back when I developed a crush for Shireen? And I asked if you were okay with us being crushes? You freaking said yes, and now that I chose her over you, you're freaking treating her like crap. Even back when she and I were crushes, you hurt her once. Not only did your actions hurt her, they hurt me as well. Okay okay I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm freaking sorry. How many times do I have to say this? I'm sorry for everything. Apologizing that way won't solve anything. You ruined me enough, and the damage done is permanent. Got it? Permanent. You freaking hurt me. No matter what you do to try to gain my trust back, I'm not trusting you. We're over, Lizzie. End of story. I hate this freaking attitude of yours. Nowadays you're always mad at me, and you can't even let go of the fact that I hurt you. What is your freaking problem? You won't understand me anyways. Oh you know what? That's so freaking it. Boris, you better choose. I've had enough of this. I know I was thinking of splitting you two up, but it never worked out anyways. So now I have to choose one of you? Come on, you know I hate choosing and loving one person. I want to love who I want to love. Then why don't you love me? Why do you keep paying attention to Shreen instead of me? Because, well... After seeing what she was like, I fell in love with her. She is really sweet, she is always there for me when I need it. I can talk to her about my issues without being treated horribly, and yes yeah, she's just... I don't know. She's just really kind, smart, and caring. And yes, she does talk to me about her problems. But I love her for who she is. It seems you, Lizzie, can't accept her for who she is. You care too much about how she acts, and that's how you tried to split us up. You basically thought she was a threat, when she never was. Well alright, but you still need to choose. You need to be clear on who you really love. Boris, look at me. What happened to everything you've done for me? What happened to the love you wanted to give me? Look what you've done. You freaking promised to do what you could to help me, and you broke it. I'm so sorry, I just... Please don't make me do this. I, I can't decide. Do you think you have any other choice? I've had enough of what I'm seeing. You better choose either me, the love of your life, or Shrain, that pessimistic queen. I'll let you decide. So um, are you just going to stand here? Until you make your decision, yes. Yes cake. I want to eat it so bad. Maybe just one little piece off the corner wouldn't hurt. Marco, what do you think you're doing? Oh frick Chris didn't see me. I swear no one saw me. Too late ruler boy. You are gonna freaking get it now. Get back here you ruler. I'm not going down without a fight. So? Are you going to decide, or not? It's so hard. Just while is he? Why do I have to do this? Like I said, I've had enough of you breaking your promises. You better prove who you really love.
Fight me, ruler. This is what you get for disobeying the queen's orders. You know what, fine. I'll fight you. With my amazing cake superpowers. Oh, 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 you've got to be freaking kidding me. My buff self is stronger than your stupid cake powers. Take this. Told ya, buddy. Cake is weak, lasers are strong. Ha 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 ha. Not so fast. Have a taste of my very special devil's food cake at your face. Oh 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 that's so freaking it. I declare a battle between lasers and cake. I'm so gonna win this. We'll just see about that. Bring it on. Can we just stop? I'm not in the mood for this. You freaking stay out of this situation train. I'm letting Boris decide who to love. And hint, no matter how long he takes to make a decision, in the end, you're not gonna get picked. I am his real lover, just to let you know. Lizzie please. This is exhausting. And you be quiet. You aren't done. You still have a choice to make. Either me or the pessimist. Would you please stop calling me that? Why? You are always so negative about everything now. So basically you are a pessimist. Yeah, and whose fault is that for making me feel this way? Note, it's not mine. Whatever. Boris, you still have time to choose. If you don't make your decision in the next five minutes, it'll be time for me to take action. 